What is going on? It's been a while. I've been busy. So it's kind of funny how things unfold. I think one of the last videos I did, I was talking about this, uh, this challenge I was doing that was all about finding my maximum capacity. Like how many things can I fit in one day? I know, bud, we'll go on a walk in a minute, okay? And um, I was at a high moment, you know? And it's kind of funny because right around the 100 day mark is when it all came crashing down. Um, just too much stuff going on and a couple things happened that made me step back and just kind of reassess where my time has been going um, and that's what that's what end of years are good for or new years you know it's good for reflection you know you have to add up all your income for taxes and so it's a good time to add up everything and just see where it all went and I figured out that I was spending a lot of time on things that weren't, they were fun, they were exciting, but they weren't necessarily getting me to where I was trying to go. And it wasn't really a negative that I was spending time on these things. It was a negative that I wasn't spending time on other things. That's the thing about time is it's always going to be a limited resource for us until us humans figure out how to live forever. Um, you know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day and whether you're the dude begging for change on the street or you're Bill Gates in your mountaintop castle, you still have the same amount of time per day. You still have to sleep uh, and you still will die someday. So that's why, you know, it's, it's hard for uh, people with, with, that don't have a lot of money, it's hard for them to really figure this out because they're always just so focused on dollars or whatever currency they're in. They're, they're focused on money and they think they value money above everything else because they don't have very much of it. They, have, they feel like they have all the time in the world but they don't have any money. It's not until people get a significant amount of money that they realize, okay, it's time that's actually the limited resource and it's time that you can't get anything, you can't get any more of. So anyways, um, on Monday, I kind of had a wake up call and realized that I was spending a lot of time on things that, well, a better way to say it is I was neglecting or not spending enough time on certain things. Uh, so so the theme of the next 100 days challenge is the opposite of capacity. It's focus. And the funny thing about focus is it's something you can't do by trying. You can't just be like, okay, I'm going to focus on this. The only way to really focus is to get rid of everything else. Get rid of all distractions. If, there's, if you're in a big empty room and there's nothing except a chair, then you're going to find yourself looking at the chair, <laughs> right? Um, and it's, that's a, an analogy for, you know, life or business or something. Like, if, like for me right now, I really want to focus on my business. And in order to do that, I have to get rid of all the things that distract from that. And then what I'm left with is focus. So I'm cutting out a lot of things. I'm, uh, the biggest thing is just not looking at my phone. Um, I'm not big on social media or anything, but uh, looking at the stock market and looking at the news all the time, huge distraction. Like when I take my phone out of my pocket to do something, my thumbs automatically open up the stock trading app. It's like it just fucking happens. And it's like my brain just needs to see those numbers. And either I'm going to see something's in the negative and I'm going to be like pissed or I'm going to see something in the green and I'm going to get like a dopamine rush. And it's the same with the news. Like I just, I get a little dopamine rush when I see the news headlines and feel like I know what's going on, even though all the news is BS in my opinion, both sides, it's all BS. So the next hundred days, I've, I've been doing this thousand day challenge 10 100 day chunks. So I'm into the second 100 days now. It's going to be all about focus. So I'm not going to be doing as many vlog videos. 
Um, but I will be doing some podcasts. I did a podcast on Saturday with uh, my cousin Henry. It was really fun. We just talked about stuff. I think I most I'm, I did most of the talking, but it was good to just like get my thoughts out there. Um, I probably said some things that a lot of people wouldn't agree with, but look, the thing is about me is I'd, I don't say this stuff with a ton of conviction about it being true or not. I, I honestly don't know what to believe about all the politics and all that stuff because I'm not there. You know, how the heck am I supposed to know? I'm not there. So all I can do is look at the facts and it is kind of fun. And when I say facts, I mean whatever I can see. It is kind of fun to look and, and see what's going on and can't help but co to connect dots sometimes. But, you know, before anyone flies off the rails and, and stuff, I just want to let you know that, like, I, I really don't have a, a hard political stance. I'm, I would be considered like a centrist, I guess, or a apolitical, I don't know. Like, I think that the best dem democratic system, if it's a two-party system, it's people on the conservative side and people on the progressive side having rational discourse and figuring out a middle path because both sides are needed in my opinion. And in this day and age, it's like there's two extreme sides and there's no rational discourse. So I, I don't see that being a good thing. But anyways, podcast was a lot of fun. Thank you, Henry, for uh, doing it with me. Maddie was there too. Appreciate you being there. Um, we're going to do another one. I think next week, maybe a weeknight. This one's gonna be a little bit more structured. We're gonna have one or two topics that we talk about, we dig into and pull up you know, evidence and stuff on, on our computers and try to dig into a subject and, and just explore it a little bit. Um, I'm doing a podcast with my friend Martin who lives in Bali, he's a marketer, and we're gonna talk about marketing. That's gonna be on Sunday morning, really early, like. I think I agreed to like 6 a.m. my time or something like that. Um, and then possibly later Sunday morning around 9 or 10, I'm probably going to do a podcast with my ex-girlfriend Casey. Uh, her and I traveled the world together. We had so much fun and I thought it'd be cool to get together and talk about that stuff. So um, I'm really enjoying making this content with other people and you know, hopefully it's entertaining and uh, maybe even valuable for people to watch. And uh, it should be really fun. <clears throat> but in the name of focus, I better get back to work. And I'll just end this video by saying the date. It's what? January 7th at 7 in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you on whatever video I make next.